Now we might finally have the most customizable custom room based on Android 13. The name is CR Droid. Based on Android 13, the CR Droid version is 9.0. It was there previously too, but it was unofficial version. Now it's finally rolling out officially for many devices. If you take a look at some basic details, it comes with the October security patch and yes, most of the time CR Droid custom room has vanilla builds, so you need to install Google Apps on your own or if you don't want to install Google Apps, you can consider using MicroG on your device. CR Droid was and is still the most customizable custom room. It was a most customizable custom room with Android 11, then Android 12 and now it's Android 13 and it's still the most customizable custom room. When I made a video on CR Droid Android 13 previous version, it was without customization but now it's official there so yes we finally have all those customizations. First of all it is having the default launcher is not the quick step, there might be this, this CR Droid launcher which includes some icon pack customizations, some home screen customizations as expectedly, a lot of customizations are included in this default launcher also. We have all the useful things included in this custom launcher like app door has the themed icons, recents has the option to customize the quick actions and we also have the hide apps and app lock all of those options which you were looking for are finally present in this default launcher so yes it's good and I don't think so most of you will change the default launcher. If you move on to quick settings panel what we have is a light quick settings background. And if you use a dark mode, you will see the dark quick settings background. The light quick settings background, in my opinion, I always prefer this. So that is why I'm sharing with you. It's super good. Other than else, what is included in this version is in this internet tile, we have hotspot option available. In my personal opinion, I definitely love this thing. Now we have the mobile data, Wi-Fi and hotspot, all of these options included and all of these options are just looking super good and these options are working perfectly fine. This is one of the greatest things. We also have the game space as expectedly so where you can customize a lot of things and this is not the game space which you have in Google Pixel devices, it's a different one which includes a bit of features where you can even customize the notification mode if you want to which actually looks quite good where you can enable the heads up option retigger or then maku whichever you feel comfortable with you can use that so these options are actually quite good it also includes the per app volume control which is super useful they always provide you some features which are super useful alongside all those customizations which you need to customize your device this is just super good in styles and wallpapers, what we have is option relating to themed icons and some app grid options where we have a lot of options up to 6 by 10. And I think so these are more than enough. So this is what we have about in wallpapers and styles where only have these few option, options which you just saw. Including then all these customizations, we have other options related to, I mean customizations related to some status bar or CR dot settings which I'll talk about in this video. But first of all, face lock is still not present. Unfortunate, but yes, face lock is not there. But in my personal opinion, I don't use that much. I always use fingerprint. Sometimes I use app lock and that's present in this default launcher. But fingerprint is there, face lock is still not present. Hopefully in the upcoming updates, but with this first update, we don't have the face unlock present. If you are using CR Droid from a lot of time, you already know that CR Droid is based on Lineage OS. All the Lineage OS features are also included. This trust, which is actually a very good thing, where we have encryption status, where you can restrict the USB if you want to, CR Droid stats, SMS message limit. These are super good things, and these are included in the CR Droid custom room. And from my personal opinion, I sometimes use this thing. Here come some customizations which are included in CR Droid. First of all, some status bar customizations where we have gestures, we have some bat related tweaks which you can enable or disable if you want to. Some customizations related to icons, some icons, 4G icon, clock and date status bar icons, these are super good. Alongside these status bar customizations which are included here, we also have some customization related to quick settings panel and according to these customizations, these are super good I think so because whenever you customize things in quick settings panel, you'll be able to do a lot of things. Like you can hide label, you can even adjust the transparency which is included I think so. Let me show you, we have the option related to background transparency which actually works without system restart or system UI restart so that's good including this quick settings customizations we have some lock screen related customizations available too like gestures about double tap to sleep 
vibration options and media cover art which you can customize if you want to so all of these options are super useful i think so and this is what we have included in this android settings including lock screen customizations we also have customizations that you do navigation bar which you can enable or disable and you can even customize the navigation bar layout if you have those three button navigation bar enabled where you can customize those actions long press or short press and yes if you use this thing then this might be useful thing for you too including navigation customizations we have options related to buttons where you can customize the power menu options you can customize long press for that power menu and partial screenshot control play playback and wake device options there so these are the actual useful customizations which are included. We also have some user interface related things. User interface, I mean a lot of customizations related to theming. We have monet customization, fonts customization, ambient display. If your device supports that, you must use this thing. Music ticker, edge lighting. Even if your device does not support always on display or maybe your device is LCD display, you can still use edge lighting. We have custom monet theming options, icon pack, fonts customizations, which are super good. I think so. By the way, one thing is that all these icon pack and signal icons are almost same with Android 12 style, so no new things. And yes, let's see in the upcoming times if we have something new, it's just old. These customizations are actually more than enough. I think so. Most of you will agree to this, but yes, this is what we have. See, Android is the most customizable room out there. You just saw the options that you do user interface we also have the options that you do notifications where you can customize your heads up notifications with retigger if you want to we have heads up notifications which you can even customize like you can use a less boring notifications we have notification light customization and some more which you can customize if you want to so customizations are just everywhere Customizations are literally everywhere. Even you can customize the sound related things where you can enable or disable the screenshot sound, adaptive playback, volume steps, which you can customize if you want to. We also have some in-call vibration options, which is a very useful thing. And these are just awesome. I think so most of the features will definitely work. And a lot of users say Seattle is a stable customer too. Let's see. So those were the customizations you just noticed. We have some of the basic things related to miscellaneous, where swipe to screenshot, smart charging, and yes, I actually use this thing, which actually works too. And extra features in game space I have already shown you. So these are the things which we have available. And I think so these are more than enough. See Android latest version is actually good. It's still in beta stage. If you want to install and explore, the link for that uh, is already available in the description if your device supports that. And these are the things I just want to let you know about. I hope you like this video. If you like this, don't forget to like and share this. And if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I will see you in the next video. Until then, goodbye.